Okay, so today we have ourselves a topic that, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know how many views this video is going to get. Usually when you're a YouTuber who's in a position like I am, where you make videos every day, you want to choose topics that actually captivate the audience, that people are gonna want to look at, listen to, and actually discuss about. And for this kind of thing, I don't really know. Because even though this is a very important thing, like, this is really important, and I can't really stress how important it is, I don't know how the public is going to perceive something like this. So, today's video is partly me just giving my own thoughts about what we have on our hands here, and secondly, it's also me kind of putting the spotlight over towards a guy who, in my opinion, is going to lead the NHL in terms of goal-scoring prosperity into the next generation. Let's talk about Matvey Mishkov, a guy whom the Olympics labeled as the next Alex Ovechkin, a guy who is totally dominating the MHL as a 15-turned-16-year-old and who was a top front runner for the top spot at the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know exactly who Mishkov is. We've made, how many videos was it? Two? I think it was two. Not too sure how many videos we've made about Mishkov in the past. At least one, but he is a guy who, at this point in time, is 16 years old. Happy belated birthday to Matvey Mishkov, by the way. He turned 16 a few days ago, and he's one of the top goal scorers in the MHL. Playing for the SKA 1946 St. Petersburg hockey team, which, if you're familiar with the names, is indeed the MHL version. It's the junior team for SKA St. Petersburg. Now, Mishkov was in the news because yesterday he signed with the SKA St. Petersburg a brand new contract extension. One that goes on for five years. Take a look at this. This is the press release on the website for SKA St. Petersburg. SKA have agreed on a new contract with forward Matvey Mishkov. The deal will run for five years until the completion of the 2025-2026 season. Now, let's go over the fact file over here. That's translated from Russian into English. I don't really know how accurate that is, but Mishkov, born December 9th, 2004 in Russia, stands 178 centimeters, 72 kilograms. In the 2018-19 season, he broke Alex Ovechkin's record by scoring 109 points in 26 Moscow championship appearances. 70 goals, 39 assists in 26 games, by the way. Yeah, he's very, very good at scoring goals. This season right now, though, he currently is the third highest goal scorer in the entire MHL, with 16 goals in 24 games played. Now, the MHL is a league for U-20 competition in Russia, and Mishkov is 16. He recently turned 16. He was 15 for the majority of the time he was scoring all these goals. Just to illustrate how crazy it is, imagine a 15-year-old guy in the OHL is coming in here in his rookie year in the league, and he's the third best goal scorer in the entire season's worth of play. For example, the third highest goal scorer this year in the OHL was Connor McMichael with 47 goals in 52 games. Imagine if Connor McMichael was 15 turning 16 for the majority of the year. Yeah, that's the hype that we're talking about here. And pretty much because of how good Mishkov has been scoring goals this entire time in Russia, going over to tournaments and dominating things with Ivan Miroshnichenko, when it comes to people talking about the 2023 NHL draft, it's always those two guys at the top. It's Connor Bedard and it's Matvey Mishkov. A lot of people are talking about Bedard in the same realm as Connor McDavid. A lot of people are talking about Matvey Mishkov in the same realm as Alex Ovechkin. We made a video talking about how Matvey Mishkov versus Connor Bedard in 2023 is the same Ovechkin Crosby rivalry ignited just 18 years later. Now, we have some very good prospects coming up in these NHL drafts, don't get me wrong. Lafreniere was very good in 2020. 2021, we don't know who's going first overall. 2022, it's a toss up between Brad Lambert, Shane Wright, Matthew Savoy. 2023, though, is when Mishkov and Bedard come in here and they're going to do their thing. But for Mishkov, who is going to be drafted in 2023, he now has his contract in the KHL going until 2026. Now, here's the thing. 
Matvey Mishkov if he continues on the current pace where he's at, where he's scoring goals like crazy. He's been a goal a game, over a goal a game his entire career, as documented here on Elite Prospects ever since 2018-19, back when he was 14, 13 years old. Yeah, no big deal over there. You have to ask yourself... If Matvey Mishkov continues scoring at a goal a game everywhere he goes, assume he plays in the VHL next year and the KHL the year after that, and this guy who has shown no signs of slowing down because his puck skills, his offensive talent, it's so high class that there's a reason why this guy was labeled the next Ovechkin by the Olympics. You have to ask yourself, if you're picking first overall in 2023, do you take this guy? Because his KHL contract goes on until 2026. Do you want to wait? First overall picks usually make the NHL year one. We've only had a few years over the past two decades where the first overall pick did not debut in the NHL immediately after the draft. First, it was Eric Johnson, and secondly, it was Alex Ovechkin. Ovechkin only did it because there was a lockout, so it didn't really count. But... For Matt Bay Mishkov, there is that contract that comes in here and it pretty much prevents him from coming over. So if you're a rebuilding team in 2023 and you're gifted the first overall pick, you have this Matvey Mishkov guy who's been a goal a game in the KHL as a 17, 18-year-old guy against men. He's one of the top goal scorers in the league despite being a rookie or whatever. All of a sudden, it's a big dilemma. And I will say there is a caveat to this. Because Matvey Mishkov, if he decides, I guess, to come over to the NHL, he has the right to do that. A player can terminate a KHL contract. The team is not able to do it, the NHL team that drafts him, by the way, but if the player wants to himself, he can. The problem is, though, we almost never see it happen. The last time we saw players who are in the KHL and who are NHL caliber prospects or whatever refusing to break their contracts and wanting to come over to the NHL right away, hey, it's pretty recent. We saw Ilya Sorokin with the Islanders. He wanted to stick with it. He wanted to play his contract out, and that's what he did. Now he's in New York. Kirill Kaprizov is a guy who stuck it out in the KHL. He was one of the best players over there. But now his contract expired, and now he came over to Minnesota. Vasily Podkolzin is a Vancouver Canucks prospect who had a two-year contract extension going into the 2019 draft. And he told the Vancouver Canucks straight up, you know, I want to play out the contract. I want to stay in Russia. I want to honor what it was that I did. And I'm going to join Vancouver once the contract is over. No questions asked. He had the opportunity to say, no, I want to come to Vancouver right away. But he didn't. So for Matvey Mishkov, will we see that trend break? Will we see a guy who is probably the best goal-scoring prospect we have seen in decades just based off of what he's done in this draft minus two year? Is he the guy to break that mold? And if he's not, does the NHL team drafting first overall in 2023 say, okay, no, we're going with Connor Bedard instead? Or maybe, you know, Connor Bedard's the other guy we haven't been talking about in this video. Maybe he comes out here, Connor Bedard absolutely becomes the number one CHLer, bar none, the entire time he's in the CHL. He breaks into the WHL early because he got exceptional status. He dominates that league three years in a row. And then maybe there's an opportunity for the first overall team to say, okay, but Connor Bedard was a better prospect anyway, so let's just take him over Mishkov. Obviously, you know, the draft is in three years. Like, we have so much time to talk about this. But for Mishkov, it is really interesting to see a five-year contract extension kicking in in 2021 all of a sudden get thrusted into the mix here because he is a guy whom a lot of people were expecting, on his current path at least, towards being NHL caliber by the time he's suited up in the draft in 2023. First overall picks almost always make the NHL year one, so if he's in a position where he says, no, sorry, I'm going to honor that contract, first overall team, second overall, third overall, whatever, you can take me in 2026 when the contract ends and I can help you out in the playoffs or whatever. Are you willing to do that? Also, another point that I saw a lot of people bringing up is the idea of him terminating his KHL contract, coming over to the NHL, and playing it out straight up from the gate at 18 years old. Because if he does that, there's an opportunity for his UFA years to become pushed forward a little bit, so he gets a little bit more money sooner. Because we've spoken about this before, but the KHL salaries aren't huge. Like, the top KHL guy is being paid, like, 1.5 million AAV, which isn't a lot compared to the NHL. So for a guy like Matvey Mishkov, who is expected to be somewhere in the same realm as Alex Ovechkin... 
you may say, okay, but his agent himself, they might want to get that money, that moolah, a little bit sooner. So maybe it's more likely than not that he does indeed terminate that contract when he gets drafted into the NHL. But for now, two years before the draft, three years before the draft... Yeah, it's kind of funny to talk about. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Matvey Mishkov signing a five-year extension with SKA St. Petersburg. I gave you all my thoughts over here, but I want to hear what you think. Tell me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.